Well, hello everyone. It is your amazing host editor. That is correct. It is Team Ari. And how are you doing on this Wednesday's edition? I am doing pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, I have social media accounts, but don't worry, I'll discuss that later on in this video. And now I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some of the drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and the subject. And of course, the link will be down below or the article will be down below. Now in this video, there will be an article. Okay, now everyone knows that the Rush Media 39 was a very success. And a business decision, you know, very good idea. They made tons and tons of money. Of course, never a dull moment when WrestleMania season rolls around. You know, merchandise was very successful. So all the information down below, if anyone cares. I know this is not r r the the news you want to hear, but I still want to discuss it for you. Okay. It's still wrestling related, but not the wrestling related you want to hear. So, now, what in the hell will you do with $215 million wrestling related? Will you buy the best seats in wrestling history? You know, ringside? I'm assuming there's enough money for that. Or maybe not. You know, what will you do with that kind of money? For all the wrestling fans around the world, what in the hell will you do? Will you do if someone give you a blank check and you could write the amount and you put two hundred and fifty million dollars on that check? If I had that kind of cash, I would definitely will get the best seats in Mania, ringside, floor seats. I know it's a certain thing, TV side. Those seats always sold out and of course if there's an option VIP section I don't know if that, that'll be enough for 250 million dollars probably and of course the best hotel I'll get like a suite that'd be flipping awesome we'll get the best view in Los Angeles or whatever WrestleMania I'll be attending they're just a theory you know <coughs> And of course, that would be including the food. And I'm assuming that'd be enough. If not, I got struck a rich somewhere. You know, of course, you know how people say you cannot spend it in one place. I mean, you could, then you'd be out of luck. So, sorry if I'm talking silly, but that's pretty good for them. And I guarantee in the future, they will return to Los Angeles. Not anytime soon, but in, in the future. Maybe WrestleMania 50, if it's not confirmed where that location will be headed. You know? How do you feel if WWE ever decided to return back to Las Vegas for I mean, yeah, Last time they were there was WrestleMania 9, and it was a very unique atmosphere, but it was outdoors. But I guarantee if they ever go back, they could host it at home of the Raiders. In a nice, beautiful, up-to-date football stadium. And then they could do it off the record. Raw SmackDown and NXT. They could have hosted it. Will, will the Las Vegas Knights play the hockey team? They could do that in that arena. In the Hall of Fame, they could do that. I don't know how, how far that is. I only been to Vegas one time in my whole entire life. And I have no reason to go back. It's on my, off my back list. There's a lot of people go there more than once. I guess they like it because of the atmosphere. Okay, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. If you want to be part of the show, that's fine. And if not, don't worry about it. See you guys tonight. Peace out and stay safe.